y dos finales arrived. Amazon just dropped this at the doorsteps, and since it's late afternoon, I will rush a bit through the unpacking of it. RBC30D1S, the onboard 30 amp DC to DC battery charger with MPTT controller from Renogy. Hello all and welcome back. For those new around, my name is Jorge, welcome to my channel and in today's video I will be unpacking the Renogy onboard DC to DC battery charger that also accepts solar panel charging from when the coach or RV motor is not running. In either cases, alternator or solar charging, the battery charging process is MPTD controlled. I will be using this product on my RTT project. We'll try to be short rather than boring, but if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you will be notified when the project video will be uploaded. Let's unbox it! Um, this unit, I don't see much around, um, much on the, on the net, so the unit comes in two different Variations, one for 30 amps, another one for 50 amps. Um, of course, uh, my use is going to be for 30 amps. I don't have a big system. So it's made in China. Yeah, that's where a couple of company address, the website, box is pretty sturdy. Propaganda there. So it's late, so I need to run it through this. Um, Side, so we can find the manual version 1.1. So the manual apply for, for both versions. So version 30 amp and 50 amps, the same manual that is on the web. Um, same thing, so mostly gonna be running into it. Um, here it talks about uh, e-warranty card. I guess you give a scan, get your team, Bluetooth connectivity connection but I don't know what they talk about because you need the BT2 to connect to it. Uh, Renogy questionnaire, Renogy sticker, and here they got the communication cable, uh, got some foam, and the unit. So the unit seems to be quite big. Um, comes package in the plastic. Environment. They come some uh, thermal sensor, probably the battery temperature sensor. Uh, there are some crimping locks here. There are three locks. There seems to be crimping locks on it. Um, Temperature sensor. I think this is the alternator sensor cable. If you got a smart alternator. That's it on the box. Uh, let's go dive in in the unit itself. Um, this. Heat sink element is aluminum. It's for sure it has a um, name plate with the model number and some information there, no serial number. So that this is the serial number. The covers are plastic. I guess some specifications about LED light. terminology here on the front. Um, the unit is quite big. Bigger than I expect got some mounting holes. I don't get a holes here for the mounting. In there. About three pounds maybe. Yeah. So let me get a screwdriver so I can remove the cover, the plastic covers and see what is inside that. So the cover can be accessed, can be accessed 
is removing these two Phillips bolts we have in the front. And you lift it up, and this top goes in there. Um, they get exposed. That's big. It has the connection for the RS44, BTS, VVS injection on the battery. And again, this is the connections for the big cables coming from the battery and goes out to the charger. This is very interesting here because Five sixteen locks. Yep. Five sixteen locks. Here's the output side, and the output side it shows uh, the output positive and the output negative. Um, I guess this is the alternator input and the solar power input. So I guess this is all the inputs that are coming from the ignition and stuff like that. So I guess all the negative connection goes into this connector here. Only thing that I notice in here is how they you just have cable entry in one direction, they don't have any cable entry from this direction, so uh, it would be nice to have some kind of entry this way, but maybe due to heavy, heavy gauge cable stuff like that. But, this is all you have any other question about the product um put it out down in the comment section uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow what i do with this product because i'm doing a project with it um in our in our truck so we are planning on use both input because we drive the truck during the night to go in through the trade rides um, then while we are in the trail, driving the Jeep, so we depend on solar power. So we depend on this to just keep our cooler and our lights running, you know, charge batteries, um, use our power tools while we are there if we need it. So I will be probably uploading videos on how this unit work out for us. Um, in any case, this is all I have for you guys. See you guys on the next one.